this video, I'll show you how to create smart contracts using the Go language and the Loom SDK. But first, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, click the notification icon, so you can stay up to date on when I post new videos. Let's get into it. Loom is a company that is trying to solve the scalability issues of the Ethereum network. Right now, the Ethereum mainnet is a little too slow for your average end user. They try to solve this by creating what is called a layer two solution. Basically, this is just another blockchain that runs alongside of the Ethereum blockchain. But the main difference is this blockchain uses a different consensus algorithm. The default algorithm for the Loom blockchain is proof of authority. They also provide distributed proof of stake. With these consensus algorithms, you can get up to one second block times, which is way faster than the Ethereum mainnet. The goal of Loom is to bring more developers to the Ethereum ecosystem by providing a way to create applications that include security of Ethereum along with the smoothness and usability that end users come to expect. So the first thing we need to do is download Loom. We can do this with the curl command and this URL. Don't worry, I'll leave instructions down in the readme included in the source code in the description below. Okay, we've downloaded that. Let's create a source directory to contain our Go code. Let's CD into the source directory and initialize our Go module. With that created, the first thing we need to do is create some types. So we'll create that directory and we're gonna create a proto buffer description file. Now let's open it up in code. So Go contracts on the Loom sidechain use what is called proto buffers. And proto buffers are a way to send messages to your contracts uh, in a serialized way that's very efficient. It's kind of like JSON, but it strips out all the different structure and indentation in order to speed up transmission. And I'm not gonna really explain proto buffers too much in this video, but I'll leave some links and information in the readme when I post this source code. First, we need to declare this as a proto buffer version three file. Next, we need to create a hello request message. This is only going to take one parameter and that's the in parameter and it's a string. Second, we want a hello response message and this is what's going to be sent back by our contract and this is also a string. In order for these protocol buffers to be used within Go, we need to compile them as such. So let's cd into the types directory and let's compile them. Don't worry if you don't know what this command is, I'll leave some information in the description down below. So basically this has converted the types.proto file into a types pb.go file, which we can actually pull into our Go code. In our source directory, let's create a main.go, declare the package to be main, import some packages. In Loom, the Go contracts are defined as a struct, and each plugin contract takes a meta function. And basically, this just returns a meta type with a name and version number and error if for some reason while you're initializing this metadata some error occurred. Also it will take an init function which serves as a type of constructor for your contract and then we will create our hello method which takes a context and a request type and the request type is the hello request that we created in types earlier. It's going to return a hello response or an error if something crazy happened. In this case, we're not even going to check for errors. So we return this hello response and then we basically take whatever was passed into the hello request and format that into a nice hello whatever. We got to create a instance of the contract with the struct that we defined. And then finally, in our main function, we go ahead and serve this contract. Now to interact with our contract, we need to create a simple command line interface. So I've created this cli.go file in our source directory. We'll define the package as main. We'll bring in some imports, create the main function, and set up some boilerplate. So we're going to use the Cobra package, which is a nice package that allows you to scaffold quickly command line interface applications in Go. I won't go over how to use Cobra, but just know uh, that this is just a way to create simple command line interfaces. And this right here is just boilerplate from Cobra, as well as some boilerplate already included in the Go Loom CLI package. We'll set our default contract to hello world. We'll create a name string that we will use later on. And this is where the meat of our command line interface is. This is defining a command in Cobra called hello command. We'll give it some useful information with a description of the command. And here, this run e parameter is a function we pass uh, that takes a command context, um, some arguments, and returns an error. So we are sending a hello request to our smart contract 
So we need to build this up from arguments passed on the command line. And that's what this name variable is for. So we build up a new hello request and the in parameter is just going to be this name variable. Next, we create a hello response, which is going to be returned from the CLI.callContract method. So this will call the default contract, which is hello world. It'll call the method hello. We'll send the parameters that we built up here. And then we want it to populate this response. We'll check for errors. If there are no errors, we'll log out the response. And then we'll return nil. Next, we want to define a command line argument to use in order to pass in the name. So users can use the long version name with a dash dash or just a dash n. The default name is going to be Bob. And then the description is your name. We'll add this command to the command line interface and we'll go ahead and run root command dot execute which basically will run ev everything depending on what is called on the command line back in the command line we need to compile our code for use on the loom blockchain let's create a contracts directory in the top level of our project next we will compile our contract let's also compile our command line interface let's cd to the top level of our project now we need to initialize the blockchain this creates some directories that contain chain data, as well as this genesis.json file. And the Loom blockchain comes with some built-in plugins. When we run this blockchain, we also want to include our hello world contract. So we need to add it to this genesis.json file. We can add it to the top like so. Now we can run the Loom blockchain. As you can see, our hello world contract was included in the startup. Now in another terminal, in the source directory, you can run the CLI. You can see it returns hello Bob. You can also run it by passing a name and it returns hello Fred. In our other terminal, you can see the calls to our blockchain being logged on the screen. And that's it. That's how you can write smart contracts in Go using Loom. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below as well. If you wanna stay even more up to date on what I'm working on, you can follow me on Twitter or sign up for my newsletter. Both will be in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.